guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd show you how I line and fill in my lips to look more full like they do in my photos. Um, as you can see, my, my lips naturally go like do a little floop. See that? So what I'm gonna do is just straighten out my lip line which will make it look much fuller but not too overdrawn. The way I learned to do lips in class, take any magazine with models and take a pen and just practice on their lips, fix their lips. Anything that is that does this, you have to make it straight. These lines must go straight. The cupid's bow must be perfect. The, your lip must, your bottom lip must be round. Basically, you had to take away the asymmetry and make their, your, their lips perfect and symmetrical. So. If you ever, if you're a makeup artist and you want to practice how to fix or enhance someone's lips with lip liner, my most used and basically my favorite lip liner at the moment is Mac lip pencil in Spice. It's like a bit darker than my lips, so it's still nude, but it's you know it's a little something something. So what I do, I always start with my Cupid's bow. I don't go under my lip line, I kind of, and I don't go over my lip line, I just go on top of my lip line and I follow the natural cupid's bow. So there you can see, I basically just defined my lip line. There it's a mush from lip to skin, and you can see there's a distinctive line. So now, this is where the fixing part comes in. And this is with my lips, so you're going to have to look at your lips. Maybe you have perfectly round lips, then you don't have to worry about that. Or you have one side that does not look like the other side. And that's what's great about lip liners, is you can easily fill in an area where there is line lacking. So I'm going to just continue on with that line, but instead of naturally following my lip line, I'm just going to keep it straight to the corner of my mouth. So that you can already see a huge difference between this side and that side. This one swoops and this one's straight. I don't feel like my bottom lip needs much help, but you're basically going to follow the same rule. You want your lip to be round. So wherever it's like flat or skew or there's a hook, you have to fix it with a line. I always like starting here in the middle. Now it's for filling in. So you can take the lip liner you're busy with, fill in your whole lips to get that full opaque lip color. Or you can do what I'm going to do, and that is just shade the outside corners. I'm going to take a lighter lip liner or even just a lipstick and put it in the center of my lips so that your lips can look more pouty and luscious. You are basically contouring your lips. Now I'm going to take a lighter nude. This is waterproof lip liner by Flormar in shade number 201. And I'm just going to shade the inside of my lips. You don't need a lip liner for this step, but it does help to make your lipstick last longer. Now I'm just going to take any nude that I have, any nude lipstick. I have this one from Wet n Wild, Bear It All, it's a good nude, it's matte. And then I have a good favourite LA Girl matte lipstick in Snuggle. And I'm just going to pat this in my lips. And of course another way to make your lips look more plump is by adding some 
highlight on top of your cupid's bow as you can see there it makes your lips look like they are more you know plump standy outy another trick is just to use gloss gloss makes your lips look juicy and shiny and it just makes your lips look bigger Add a little gloss in the center of your lips. Gorgeous. The Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Stay My Rose. There you have it. Easy, very quick trick to make your lips look like you've got surgery, but you did not. I don't really think it's it's not too much. Some good lip liners, of course the MAC lip liner in Spice, Flow More. Floor, floor Mar lip liner is waterproof and they are also quite inexpensive and then I recently found these lip liners by LA Girl and they come in the most beautiful shades and they are quite cheap as LA Girl and I've really been enjoying that alright that is it for today's video how I get my lips to be all lippy Hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one. Bye!